Hi there and welcome back to Death Knights of Kren. I'm Baron and we are just outside of the village of Tsikos. And we actually enter. A village guard bows and says welcome to Sekos. The guard disappears and a child giggles. It was an illusion. Great. An old woman approaches. We talk to her. I am looking for my daughter, she says. Will you help? Yes. Thank you. Take this amulet. Show it to my daughter and bring her here. Also, take this staff to help you defeat any creatures that might be keeping her. And we get 114 experience points. That's not really much. Uh, but we take the quarter staff, I think. Oh yeah, what I wanted to show you, uh, talking about quarter staffs. <laughs> um, the quarter staff that I actually found in the last video, or the video before that, was Olin's quarter staff. It's a nice one that actually has the possibility, the ability to paralyze or stun opponents. There's a certain probability that it will do that. Too bad that we get that weapon in um, Death Knights of, Cr of Kryn. Uh, video game where you mostly fight the undead and they are immune to those effects. But if you can transfer that into um, Dark Queen of Kryn then maybe it will be helpful. What else did I get? I also got um, a Ring of Protection plus 2. That means that I was able to give a Ring of Protection plus 1 to Durfee because I don't need it anymore. Now he has an armor class of minus 7. As I thought, um, the period was a period of proof versus poison, and the boots were boots of speed. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Mm -hmm. Very well, moving on. What's that here? It looks like no one has stayed at this inn for a long time. We have no rooms available, please leave. What do you do? We stay. The town guard enters. They're Civex. They attack. Oh, really? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them, actually. Holy moly, how many are there? Um, um, that's, that's really a lot. I, I mean, like, really, really, really many of them. Okay. Boom. Okay, uh, we need to thin out the crowd here. Let's see, um, one, two, three. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. Now I actually feel a little better. You yell. Oh, that didn't work. They're apparently quite disciplined. Good night. Oh, now you want to get away? That's not working. 4,285 experience points. That's nice. We encamp and fix. Fix, exit. Moving on. That was not so difficult. 
was just a truckload of them. What's in here? How can I help you? Uh, we talk. This town is very strange. I'm new here and everyone is always so frightened and secretive except the town bum who tells a strange tale. Wait, what could I buy here? Yeah, what do you have? I don't need that. Goodbye. Leave. So, what do we have here? You find a scruffy man down on his luck. Spare me some steel pieces. What do you do? Well, we give him money. You give him two steel pieces. We have one hum over more than 100,000. We give him two. Thank you. He tells you and uh, he tells you the strange story of Seekers. This is recorded as journal entry 28. Okay, let's take a look. Vagabond on street. I used to be a magician's assistant until the day the dragons came. They burned half the town and killed all the powerful mages. They forbade anyone from pra practici practicing magic again and killed or imprisoned anyone who did. Some say the leader of dragons was nearly killed by magic when he was young and he has hated magic ever since. Then those guards came, those guards who became lizards. His eyes widened in crazed terror. Then the statue spoke to me one night. Okay, just a statue that speaks. Interesting. Good. Moving on. Town guards interrupt. They're Sivex, they attack. Well, that's not too many of them. You yell. So you move like down here and um, guard. You don't do anything. You guard here. And you got here. Well, okay. Good night. Well, nothing. Night. They're actually quite easy. No, wrong button. This one. Good night. 2000 experience points. What do we have here? The patrons of the tef tavern are you suspiciously. What do you do? We stay. Would you like something to drink? No. You sure you don't want a drink? Yes. What do you do? We wait. He tells you about treasure hunters. This is recorded as journal entry 59. Okay. Bartender. Well, apparently the bartender is telling us that story here. Strangers have been coming to this town for years, the bartender says, pouring a glass for an impatient customer. Mostly they come to see the magic, but some had heard about the treasure some dragon or dragons hid in this town long ago. Since we no longer practice magic and seekers, I suppose they are here to find the treasure. A princess came here looking for the same thing a few weeks ago, but I'm sure the town god has chased her out of town already. No one... Princess looking for treasure. That's weird. 
Is she supposed to be looking for or waiting for a prince to marry her? Oh well. No one has found the treasure, or if they have, they haven't lived to enjoy it. Maybe it's Xena, the warrior princess. Oh well. You're always free to tell me how close you came to finding it. I've heard every story there is. Okay. Nice. Apparently we got a story out of that. Not too shabby. So, what can we do? Uh, let's take a look at the area. Okay. You see a statue of a sad looking man. A sign says Armin Sikos, founder of our town. So, we should talk to it at night. Let. you know, let the time pass. Now it's like 20 minutes to 3 pm and it's night apparently. Moving on. Um, moving on. No, um, actually, search off. In the moon's light, a statue appears to move. What do you do? We wait. The statue turns and looks at you. Save my city from the dragons. I give you this. I give this to you for your help. You find a scroll at your feet. And we get, ooh, 280, uh, 28 experience points. <sighs> Don't spoil me. A white mage scroll. Okay, you take it. And that's it. We move on. So, well, what do we have here? A regal man in copper-colored robes welcomes you. What do you do? Well, we talk to him. Have you heard of the treasures? He explains. This is recorded as journal entry 33. Yeah, he wears a bronze-colored robes. Remember that. This will be important. Uh, 33 is right here. Igor, apparently that's his name. He seats you in plush chairs and arranges his expensive silk robe around himself as he sits down. I heard I heard about the treasure hidden in Sikos long ago. My family thinks they are the same jewels that were stolen from my ancestors before the cataclysm. His odd copper-colored eyes search your faces as he thinks. Having made the decision, he continues, I came to Sikos to find and reclaim my inheritance, but I haven't had any luck finding anything yet. <coughs> he pauses for a second and takes a sip from a teacup. The town is very confusing. It is supposed to be a town of magic, but I have yet to see any. The people are all very secretive and keep to themselves. I have also noticed that the town guard has managed to get rid of almost every visitor they think is too curious about the workings of Seekers. I promise you a share if you help me find it. May I join you? Sure, why not? You have decided wisely. My name is Igorf. He joins you. Igorf! We need more brains! Well. Okay, that was Igorf. What's in here? Welcome, says the young man. Can I give you something? Igorf tells you not to eat that food. Then I'll kill you in a more conventional manner. <laughs> really? He wanted to poison us. Good thing we had Igorf with us. Um... Oh, that's Igorf. He's a dragon, a bronze dragon. Thirty uh, 63 hit points, AC of 1. Not too shabby, if you ask me. Um, boom. You're not casting. I mean, yeah. We have a dragon. It's not Maya, but, well, at least it's a dragon. I wonder whether I can control him. Boom. No more magic for you. I can control him. What can you do? You can cast, um... Hmm. Yeah, nice, but not really needed. Well, let's see how good you are when you're attacking. 15, 6, 2 attacks. Oh, I'm sorry, 
I was not paying attention. Next. Target. Hey, she actually hits him. Good night. Sivex, my ass. 2,296 experience points. And what do we get? Mm -hmm. So you just uh, just take the dots. Goodbye. No, I don't need it. A gold chain around Igor's neck glows and he reverts to human form. That's nice. Moving on. Let's take a look at the area. A group of children are playing. When they see you, they run away. You may rest here safely. Yeah, we don't really need to. But okay. Good. Um, where else could we go? We could go to the east. Yeah, w why do they run away? Because we have a dragon with us? Let's encamp, uh, save, <coughs> and actually go in here. You see two guards in a fist fight. A crowd cheers them on. What do you do? We, um, sneak past. The crowd notices you. They are Sivax, they attack. Well, we are apparently not that good at sneaking, because like half of our party is wearing heavy plate mail. Well, that probably is not a problem, right? It's just to few civics. That's all you have, that's not really much. But we should still give you a delayed blast fireball to thin out the crowd. Oh, oh, 30 are still enough. Even if they save, they die. That's good news, right? Well, not if you're a Sivak, but... Well, one actually survived. That's great. Come and get some. Good night. No treasure though. A gold chain, yeah, we already had that. Good. That was nice. That's what's in here. Sivaks are gathered around the table. They attack. The table or the party? Probably the, ta the party. Again, there's a lot of them. Again, I don't really care. I will not use magic now. It's, it's just not worth it. You move in here and um, you're gone. Boom. Don't tell me they're killing the dragon. I really wouldn't understand that. You yell. Although a fireball would have made things easier, probably. But it's, it's just a waste. will increase the attacker by 2 and increase the armor classes by 2, so...
Well. Oh, missed. You can't do anything. You delay. And you will actually cast a fireball. Oh, you can't because you have been attacked. You have only 20 hit points. Excuse me? Shit. I thought you were a powerful dragon. Well, apparently you're not. Yeah, okay. Delayed Blast Fireball. I don't want them to kill him. One, two, three. Here. I have to protect my dragons now. It's come to that. If you have a dragon in the party, it's not a help, it's a liability. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Yeah, help the dragon. It's not dead yet. Thank you. A gold chain. Yeah, we already had that. A silver key lies on a table. You pick it up. And we encamp. And um, get your magic back. That's pretty much all we need, right? Um, exit, fix. Okay. So, let's leave again. Where do we go now? Um, oh, yeah. There's one thing we can do. We can talk to the prisoner. He is like here. Prisoners are confined here. Please help us. What do you do? Well... We free them. They stumble out of the prison. Uh, maybe we should have... Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should have talked to them first. Did I save? I hope I, hope I saved. Da, da, da. And I get kicked out. That's cool. Because I wanted to reload anyway. Forty six, forty six, five. That's Paladine. What's a Paladine? No, Paladin, Paladine. That's a difference. Paladin, Paladin is the Paladin, and Paladine is the God. Um. Yeah. Okay. I guess I saved here. Let's talk to them first. The dragons imprisoned us for using magic. Well, that was a very valuable hint. Okay, thanks. So, uh, let's take a look at the area again, okay? Several town guards marched by, why didn't they attack? Nothing else happens here. 
Yeah, I know. They run away because they're stupid. So, uh, we encamp. Oh, two beginning to play and three is load. Thanks. Let's go in here. A feast is being prepared. What do you do? We watch. A servant takes a tray of food. You follow her. The servant hears you. Why are you following me? She drops her tray and flees. Ah, well. We suck at sneaking, apparently. The major greets you. The mayor greets you. What do you do? We talk. I suggest to leave and find adventure elsewhere. Go away. What do you do? We talk again. It's not the mayor. Others come in. Oh, well. Okay. No. Not the ego thing again. Okay, we have to use magic to save our dragon. You know, I wanted him to cast a fireball, but it didn't work because, well, he was attacked too soon. No, not her. God damn it. I want, actually, I wanted to attack this one here, not, but, well, he wanted to attack Sylvia. That's weird. Oh well. Yeah, cast up. Uh, I don't know, maybe an ice storm. No. Ah, okay. It takes a while. Okay, we put it in here. So you can take it. Um, what again happened to your weapon? Oh great, one. Okay, I'm pretty sure the dragon is safe now. Two thousand eight hundred fifty seven experience points. Okay, so we fix and camp, fix, save, move on. A door swings open to let you enter. Stairs lead down. What do you do? We go down. And now we. Oh, we don't have a map here apparently. Okay, so, well, there's a door here. Um, 
Okay, so we probably should walk through that door. A group of guards is posted here, really. We attack them. No, wait, I didn't want to sneak by. I wanted to attack them. Of course they're civics, and of course they attack. Well, at least they can't get to my dragon now. We're safe! <laughs> ah, that's good. That's a bunch of CVX. But they're just kind of fodder. Or sword fodder. Mace to the face, my friend. And now you cast your fireball. Egolf. Ah, uh, cast it in. Like, here. Well, one, two, three, four. Ah. I don't want to grill my party. It's not really necessary. And here you see the difference between the delayed blast fireball and the fireball. Oh, Sylvia, really? What else can you cast? Hmm. Magic missile. On who? Boom, you're dead. Oh, now you surrender. Spoil spot. Um, fix? Oh, really? We can't fix here. <laughs> it's just. No, there's actually. That's a whole bunch of them. Okay, we can't. You got. You cast the fireball. Yeah, they automatically get their spells back. One, two, three. Ah, it doesn't work here. You got. Okay. We will not fix. We will just move on. Once we have beaten those Civex.
Yeah, and okay. Come on. Finish them up. Generally, is a force of nature now. You cast a magic missile, my because you can. Fifteen. Oh, really? You got... Ah, for fuck's sake, come on. Good night. Thank you, 4,285 experience points. Oh yeah, we we can't area here. I forgot. So we will move on to which into which direction do we actually go here? Uh, south. Yeah, south is probably okay. You see five fat blue dragons holding a young woman. One hears you and turns intruders after our treasure. Igor attacks one of the dragons, leaving dressed to you. Um. So we have blue dragons, four actually. We I don't I don't kill around here. Delayed blast fireball. That should take care of you. One, two, three. They're not dead yet. But the second delayed blast fireball will kill them. Ah, shit! Bandager. Yeah, our mages have... Well... They don't die now anymore. Good night. 2700 experience points. Congratulations, the point you gain experience. You have my mother's amulet. She must have given it to you. The girl takes along. Igor takes all the treasure he can carry, then leaves. We get 8183 experience points and uh, more treasure. So, well, what do we get? 15,000. I don't take the steel. That's it? No items? We just get money? That sucks. No, I don't want it. Okay. Um, no, we didn't do not say uh, fix here. On second thought, we could encamp and car magic. You cast a heal. Yeah, cast it, sorry. On zero whites. One point five million uh, Ah she Well she doesn't have that much experience. Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I was thinking about, you know, restart, uh, trying that again, and so that she gets the experience too, but I, I think it probably doesn't really matter. In here. Where was the exit? Oh, here. Stairs lead up. We go up. 
Ah, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, no area here. So we should head into eastern direction and the old woman is here. Thank you for finding my daughter. Okay, and we found treasure. What do we get? 50 more gems. Okay, so well, that's it for Seekers. What happens now? Nothing actually. Oh wait, let's go to the the cleric actually. See what he has to say. He was um here. Wait. Ah, a group of children runs up to greet you now. Oh, the cleric is gone. What's in the prison? The jail is empty. Um, okay. There's nobody in here. A man in copper-colored clothes greets you. Thank you for returning my treasure. What do you do? Well, we give him his treasure. He takes some treasure, turns into a copper dragon and flies away. Um, that's weird. I thought you already took your treasure. Oh well, it's just money. I mean, we could have fought him, uh, but I think copper dragons are not really evil, right? There's nothing here anymore. Yeah, okay, that's it for Seekers, I think. Yeah, more children greet us. That's good. Okay, I will call it a video now. I will return to um, Gargoth Outpost and uh, train my characters a little. And then we'll see each other in the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.